Rake point. Ollie, it's so honest. Thank it you. really is, and Thank I think you. that was awful important, wasn't it, to you? Absolutely. And, and for your readers as well? Yeah, most definitely. You yeah. wanted it to, to tell your story. How did you get involved in telly in the first place? Was it through the show then, the SES show? Yeah, well, basically, I, I sort of bounced around the world, going to different war zones, came back, bumped into my old mate Foxy, and, um, yeah, he got approached by a production company, and then... And then well, and his best mate. Yeah. So, so yeah, and it's all started there back in 2015. Right. And now it's a powerhouse of a show. Oh, it's amazing. And of course, as we know, we've got the celebrity version, but the the the, the way that it really pushes people mm. is quite remarkable. And of course, you had to go through that and worse, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. I actually did it twice. Wow. Through a fault of my own. But right. yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's people do want to be pushed. And that's what the, the celebrities have proved that. You try to get back into, if you like, the real world. Mm. And you say that that was harder than your day job, if you like. It was, it was more difficult to try and adjust. Yeah, I absolutely underestimated that. When you're behind the wall, you know, in the, in the military, in the special forces, you think you're invincible. You think you're going to rule the world when you come into Civvy Street. Yeah. It's not the same for everyone, but for me, it was a struggle for 10 years. I'd sort of bounce around the world, as I said before, trying to find my purpose. Mm. And it wasn't out there. I had to look within to find that. Yeah, yeah. And, so. you, and you say, you know, you're very honest, but in fact, you drank too much. I did. Because yeah. you self-medicate, don't you? Absolutely. You really and, do. And, you know, I used that as the, uh, to stop the chatter going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, it, it, was, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a good place to be in. But it was this show that really helped you. Because in series one, you were still drinking too much. Yeah. But actually, by the time series two came round, you really had got your act together. Yeah, I saw how powerful this show was. Yeah. When Foxy went on national TV and talked about PTSD, it caused a ripple effect all I the way across yeah. the UK. Mm. And, um, you know, I wanted to give it the best shot possible. So I cut drink out for series two, got to the end of filming, and I thought, I feel really good. Yeah. Why bother? <laughs> why, why am I why doing this to myself? To yeah. no, you don't want so, to. Yeah, no. So, yeah. And it was the only way that I could control. I mean, I do have a drink now, but I'm in control. Exactly. But it was, the only way I could do that was to sever. It's not controlling yeah. you anymore. Your mum and your partner have really helped you, haven't they? You've got strong women in your family. Yeah, my, <laughs> my mum's got a long history of helping me. So, you know, when yeah. I, was, I was out of control as a teenager and, you know, she got me back on track. She had, didn't have much to give at the time and, you know, she, she still... Sure. Um, yeah. She had she, love. She yeah, had she love did. And, and she, she pulled, me, pulled me through and, and showed me the way. And, Which is great. Because there's a, yeah. lot of, you know, there's a lot of sort of broken relationships along the line, but you're, you're mending things. I mean, your, your partner knew very, very close. Mending bridges with your, your son, which is fantastic, yeah. you know. So it's all, it's all good. It's all great. It's, it's all really, really good. I'm in a really good place. Good. And, uh, yeah. yeah, the book has taken 48 years to write. But it's, and it's been, <laughs> it's 48 been a years journey. in the making. Yeah. Tell me, though, about this whole thing about strong men that I know that you, yeah. you, you really advocate, and it really does help people. Yeah, it does. It, uh, we started st Strong Men with a couple of guys from the show, and it's, it, Strong Men looks at men that are, are kind of going through issues because of bereavement. Right. Uh, Ephraim from the show, series two, and Dan Cross, who had pretty sort of... Ephraim lost his son in Afghan. Dan was subject to quite a horrific um, home invasion that, and his wife died. Oh, I remember that. It was, yeah. it was hellish, so, absolutely hellish. you know, I've, I've now helped them to give that to charity legs and, uh, right. yeah, it's really going places. That's oh, fantastic. And it's called Break Point. And, of course, that is a, another very, very important thing in your life too. Yeah, no, absolutely. Break Point, if we look at the concept of Break Point, it's that time we step into the discom discomfort in the short right. term for a long-term gain. Right. And hopefully people that read this book will actually take that first step. Exactly, because we don't really... We think that we challenge ourselves. But until you see that show, we, we don't really challenge no, we ourselves don't. at all. And we but don't get that chance to just see how far can we push ourselves. Exactly, but you can see from the people on the show that they're by choice. They can, they can give in their number at any time. And, um, yeah, they just want to be pushed. I know. Our Andrea did well. She did She great. did well. Ollie, good luck with the book. As we said, it's, uh, it's called Breakpoint and it's out right now. It's out today. It's a cracking read. It really is. I love that photo of you in the front. Yes. That's Pretty. a man you don't mess with, <laughs> I'll tell you. When he says jump, yeah. you say how high. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much.